do you know what um, you used to piece on? Pardon? After Jesus cut the ear of the uh, God off, right? Yeah. What did you, what did you say? To Sorry. Him? When Jesus, when Peter yeah, cut the ear of the God, yeah, that's when he cut to Jesus, right? What did you say to Peter? If I wanted to, yeah, I'd send all my angels right now save me. Okay. He, he was a full control. If he wanted to be saved, yeah, he would have been saved. Yeah, he well, chose to, it's full of he also it's said, like, I by my own will can do nothing. I by the finger we, of God. We, well, I by the finger of God cast out devils. I by the spirit yeah, yeah. of God. Um, the I mean, Father is greater than I. Yeah, I, agree, yeah, I okay, mean, yeah. you know these verses, no, right? No, no, I mean, so, I mean, think about it. Do you believe that though? When, when you said, yeah, I did nothing more on the code, only what's the Father doing. Do you believe this? Do I believe what? I don't believe. Look, the no, 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 no. When you said, what's yeah, the question? I can do nothing of my own accord, yeah. yeah. Only what's the Father doing. Yeah. Do you believe that? That only the, the God can can do it. No, on. Jesus says, Jesus says, yeah, I can do nothing of my yeah, own yeah. accord. Yeah. I can on my own self do nothing. Yeah. Only what's the Father doing. Say again? Only what I see the Father doing. Only what I see the Father doing. Do you believe this? Only what I see the Father doing. Do, 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 do you know this verse? No, no. I mean, I'd, I'd, if you're asking me if I believe in it, right? I mean, 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 mean like... If, I don't if, believe if, that if, what if, is... If, let if me answer your question. Right, if you Bible against no, no, me, then no, use all of it. No, no, no. Why should I? Well, why, why use it all then? Why use it all against me? No, no, no. Because... Why the, quote like, oh, God what, written what, what, is, what is the Bible? I'm going to show you something else. What is the Bible? Huh? What's the Bible? I'm catching the books. Which ones? Uh, the 72 books, um, 73, 72 books. Uh, 72 Church, books, yeah. according to whom? The Catholic Church. Okay, what about Protestants? Um, they're not part of the Church of Christ. What do, how many books are in their canon? 66. 66. Yeah. What happened to those five or six books? Uh, more than that. Um, yeah, what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, six books, yeah? Oh, that's the thing though. So Protestants, yeah. they, have, they have no priority to, to tell the canon. We do. Oh, okay, but great. But for them, it's purely just like six six. what they feel like. We so what happened to those six? Are these, do you believe that those six books are part of the canon and those Protestants don't believe in that, right? Yeah. Excellent. So who got to decide what's in the canon and what's not in the canon? The Church of Christ, the Church. Which Church? Church which, which, which meeting? The one... Which Christ, council? Uh, so the, the canon was closed at Florence in... For the year, but I think it's, it's in the 15th, 15th century. But that's because of Florence, they, they, they kind no, of the Bible. The, 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 the New Testament canon, New Testament canon. Was, was decided well before that. Who decided what council was it? Um, there was, um, I don't think so. I think Carthage, maybe Carthage. I think well, I, well, I there was know. no council. So, the, the, how the, the New Testament was decided, the stronger opinion is that it was Athanasius, okay, in the fourth century. His case kind of isn't fully the same as ours. So it was it can't Athanasius. Be him. It can't and be him because he's kind it of. It can't be him. Is, is, is exactly no problem. Ours. You can read J and D Kelly's early church fathers. I read him. Yeah. All right, read him again and with with greater attention this time. What I'm saying is that the great uh, the, the, the stronger really the stronger that, yeah. the stronger opinion is that Athanasius is the one who decided upon the canon. There was no count. Jane didn't say that. Jane didn't say that. There was no. I read him. He didn't say that. He said Athanasius. There was no council, yeah. and I would challenge you to find one. A, there was no council that decided on the canon of the New Testament. Florence. There was no council that decided upon the canon of the New Testament. Are you listening to me or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm that's well, that is well known. Okay. Okay. What is the council that decided on the, uh, the, the canon um, of the New Testament? There, there's, there's no council in Carthage in the fifth century. Then there's one in the. What's the name of the council? Council of Carthage. And what did they do in that council? Um, they, they determined the us, us in the, us in the canon, but it was only a local. Wait, local hold on. One, so you're telling one. me that the count, the canon was not determined before the fifth century? No, it wasn't. No, no. It was the, the twenty-two, the twenty-seven books of the the, the 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 New Testament were determined way before that, into the fir fourth century. Uh, and we, yes, yes. Yeah, so the, the idea was that you had the New Testament canon yeah. before the fifth century in Car Carthage. You, clearly, yeah, and it was um, not decided and you by a canon. Right? Athanasius, right? Athanasius is the one who decided. Yeah, I mean, no, no, who gave him the authority? I mean, he, he, he didn't. All I can say is that he didn't. He who, who, gave him the, who gave him the authority, though? He, he didn't define it. He didn't find it. He so, who it. defined it then? The church as a whole. The church fathers in the first yeah, 300 the church, years. The church, now, I'm asking a question. The in, the, in, the, in the first three to 400 years of Christianity, yeah? in the first three to 400 years of Christianity, yeah. was there a consensus among church fathers of what the New Testament constituted of? For the most part, yeah, for the most part. If you look at the macro okay. things like so, that, yeah. so why is it that you'll find yeah. that some church fathers quoted texts which we don't find in the New Testament corpus today? So like the Didache, like, okay. the, the, like the Apocrypha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why is it that you find that these texts are quoted by some church fathers? We read the Apocrypha, those actually are the Apocrypha. I know you read that they're not part, they're not canonized as part of the New Testament. I'm no, asking... They're, they're Old Testament. Apocrypha is Old Testament. No, I'm talking about the Didache. Yeah. Yes? Now, our, my question is now, the Didache is the first hundred years of Christianity. Yeah. Why is that not part of the, the canon? Um, well, that, that's because of how the canon decided. How comes we find that in the third century, the fourth century, that some church fathers 
disputed whether or not the Book of Revelation should be part of the canon. Yeah, because it's tradition, really. Tradition. Pardon? Tradition. How could there be dispute on an entire book between church fathers whether it should be in the canon or not? Tradition, that's why, tradition. Like, they have different traditions, right? And some churches did use certain books, others didn't. I mean, that's what's that, But, but that just contradicted what you said before. You yeah. said that the older church fathers, mm -hmm. There was consensus among what constituted the New Testament among the church fathers. No, so for the most, for the most part. But the no, most but part. there's no consensus then. There's no most part in consensus. Yeah. Consensus means all of them agree. Not necessarily. Like, okay, let's no, I'm it. using it in that sense. Um, that strict. There was unanimity. There was everyone um, agrees. So I'm not say, talking about the let's majority. Say 100 people, 100 people, yeah. I tell them agree with something, one person disagrees. Can you say because I was disagree, there's no more I'm, consensus? I'm using it in that sense. Okay, no, 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 no. Great. So there was no consensus yeah. that the, between the early church father, yeah. uh, fathers of what the New Testament comprised of. Yeah. Therefore, the, in your understanding, because the question you ask me is how could you use part of the Bible and not part of the Bible? The Bible itself is ill-defined. The Bible itself, there's no consensus of what no, it constitutes for, for, for us, for us, we have a definition, like us Catholics, we have a definition. The church defines the, the, the canon. But as a person, you don't have a have a So, then, I have a question for you then, yeah, as a Catholic, yeah. since you're a Catholic. Yes. Yeah. My question as a Catholic to you is then, from whence did the church itself gain its authority? Did, wait, hold on, no, 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 hold on, let me finish the question. Did the church get the authority from the books, or did the books get the authority from the church? Good question. So the way, it's just got a person from the Christ himself. From Christ and Peter, yeah, you are the rock, yeah, and only you. Yeah, but that's in a book. Yeah. But look, that's the same stock of events. Stock of events. It's a real Hold event. on. You don't understand what I'm saying. Yeah. I understand the, the apostolic tradition yeah, of the yeah. church, the whole argument yeah. of the Roman Catholics yeah. and the Eastern Orthodox, yeah. by the way. Because they have a similar kind of reverence for tradition. Yeah. And they have a similar reverence for uh, figures, obviously, for you, or your case, the Pope himself, yeah? yeah? But what I'm saying is, I understand the argument. But my question was this, because what you're, what you're citing about Peter is in the New Testament. Yeah. So my question is, did the church get its authority from the New Testament or did the New Testament get its authority from the church? Um, so, so, so that's just a false dichotomy, I want to say that. It's no, it's one or the other, in fact. It, it'll no, be, really, no, no, really. it, uh, no, it's not a false dichotomy. In fact, it will be circular reasoning mm -hmm. to say that the church got its, the church got its uh, authority from the books which got its authority from the church. That would be circular reasoning. No, because we also need it in a historical event though. And no, but that historical event we, was we only known the from the books. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's so, all, so, that's so, all so, history. That's great. History. So you're, um, sorry, you're, uh, word go of ahead. Mouth, word of mouth or written form, so it can even be... If you're saying that you, you got your authority from a written historical event, yeah. that written historical event was in oh, the books. Oh, word, oh, word of mouth, word of mouth. There's also word of mouth as well. Word of mouth is still historical. Yeah, I mean, okay, how else, how but, but by the way, just to be fair, apostolic arguments are made from direct references to the New Testament, correct? With yeah. the, the incident of Peter, correct? I mean, like, I mean, even even Bible itself is justified through that tradition now. Because um, how do we know I that know. Um, Peter, or Peter or Matthew or Matthew How do we know it? Or, 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 how do we know it? Um, the, the church fathers, they, they, they told us, they told us. Not the church fathers, but it says it in the New Testament itself, correct? Yeah. Great. So, but, but even, even so, then, though, we, we so have, this is where your problem lies. Yeah. You have a an issue of authority here. That's why in most you know, Christian seminaries or whatever, yeah. they say the, the three things that make Christianity are the tradition, yeah. the scripture, and yeah. reason, right? Correct? The church, the church, the church. Yeah, oh, the church, well, that's a tradition. Church, church, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, fine. Okay, you can say that's a tradition or not. Yeah. Scriptures, the tradition, which is the, oh, the, the, the test, the, uh, what do you call it? The, um, the, 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 the church fathers and so on, yeah, and just, apostolic tradition, and yeah. precedents, and all yeah. that kind of thing, and also reason which uh, you, you've, you've thrown out the window. But no problem with that. Let's, 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 let's throw reason out the window and let's stick, stick with the other two since we've already, already dealt with the reason bit and the reason is not in your favour. No, no, so, I've been, I've been no you have. You've accepted that as a contradiction between... Well, I mean, like, the, I you have accepted it. Like, it could be a error, just a category error. Yeah. You said that, Customary. but you don't care about errors in, in logic because you said that Jesus Christ yeah. is both fully human and yeah, fully... But, but I said that, though, I, 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 I was, you I, said there's a contradiction. Mm. That was the word you used. So yeah, so I mean, even then when I said that, right, I must have also like, um, because in my mind, I had a category that's in my mind. I understand, I understand. Okay. That's why I said that. No, but we, we've I moved said, on to another argument okay, now. Okay, yeah, yeah. What I'm okay. saying is that there's another contradiction you have yeah. to deal with. Yeah. So, so now I'm dealing, I'm telling you what contradictions you have to endure. Contradiction number one, as a Christian, if you're happy to die as one, yeah. okay, no problem. The first contradiction you have to endure is that you have this person of Jesus Christ who is meant to know all, but have limited knowledge at the same time. Be all powerful, but not have power. One is the divine nature you're calling it. You can call it what you like, but there are two set of contradictory attributes. You said it on camera. You said it. These are contradictory. That's fine. Yeah. 
yeah, when is it so you have to endure those contradictions. No problem. Let's put that to the side. But, 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 but Second, I it's also paradoxical. But, but the thing is, the contradiction is quite a paradox, not necessarily a okay. kind of contradiction. I can't, the, the cause of paradox. Not You're contradiction. using language, syntax, to yeah. try and escape the reality, all right? No, a I mean, paradox. No, paradox is a very precise word. Do you, do you not agree? Paradox is a very precise word. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's, it's I'm, why is that a paradox and not a Are you saying that, first of all, are you saying a paradox is always different to a contradiction? Because you can have yes. a paradox which is a contradiction. It is a contradiction, but it's not a paradox. I don't agree. Sometimes you can have a paradox. Uh, there's, a, there's a book written by Jim Khalil about uh, logical paradoxes and stuff like that. What's it called? I don't know what it's called. But anyway, this uh, a paradox can, be, can, can actually produce contradictory results. So this idea that you're trying to create... What you're doing now is you're trying to use language to escape the reality, yeah? It's very clear for me to see. You're in a cognitive dissonance state. You are uncomfortable at the fact that on the one hand, you realize that you can't actually reconcile these things. But on the other hand, you are emotionally connected to the religion of Christianity. I'm saying that there's a way to free yourself from this. And I honestly want the best for you, bro. I know it was a bit rough with you before that. And, fine, and I apologize. Man,